Do you have a preference of cheddar? I like to go extra sharp. Like, what are you eating cheddar for if you want to go mild? Just get a piece of American cheese and sit in the corner and cry, because cheddar's about being sharp. Turkey chili, I got this. Mayhem Loren, live from the test kitchen. I've been making turkey chili for quite some time. This is the first thing I learned how to make. I've been making chili since I was like 10 years old. My godmother, rest in peace, she used to be like a church woman, so I made her chili one time. Next thing I know, she has me making it for like a whole congregation on Sunday, and they give me these huge pots and all these ingredients, and I was like a little kid making this chili, and I know what I'm doing, now we're here. We have turkey. A little thyme, a little rosemary, cilantro. The cilantro is very important. And I might name my child cilantro. Chili powder, habanero, jalapeno, red peppers, green peppers, poblano. We have tricolor beans right here, red, pink, and black. These are canned beans. I don't feel like soaking anything overnight, but we, um, we rinse off all the canned liquid. There's no canned liquid in my chili. We make sure to, you know, rinse that off, and it's, that's still good, I mean, come on. So, Mrs. Dash spicy, Mrs. Dash regular. Shout out to Mrs. Dash. A little cumin, you only need a pinch of cumin, but that just brings something out of it. Cumin and lemon is a beautiful marriage, you know, so I like to incorporate that in almost everything I cook. Unlike beef, turkey isn't as fatty, so we use a little oil in the pan. I don't put oil with beef, but why are we even talking about beef? This is a turkey chili, I'm, I'm out of my mind. Spread it evenly across the pan. I'm making a chili here, so the first ingredient, obviously, is the chili powder. Shake that generously on there. Onion powder. You don't need too much of that. Garlic powder. I've been told before I may cook with too much garlic. I love garlic. This is my chili. I want to cook with too much garlic. Bang. Just want the top of the garlic. Get a couple cloves. My mother taught me this. My brother's a professional chef. You know my man Bronson's been cooking forever, so it's like I picked up a thing or two. Throw a little Mrs. Dash in here. You don't need too much. Spicy Mrs. Dash. Eh. This should really be almost already cooked by the time you put the sauce in. So you can eat it right away. You shouldn't, but it's good to have the option, you know? Ma'am, can you, when you talk, can you just focus at this camera? I'm sorry, you know, he's standing up there. I feel like I should look up. I'm sorry about that. Sasson. Cumin. Now I'm doing this right here for no particular reason. I just think it's a cool way to put it in. I go heavy on the black pepper because why wouldn't I? Now we get to this beautiful culinary herb cilantro. Shout out to my man Action. I used to just use the leaf and he was like, nah, a lot of the flavor and the nutrients are actually in the stems. So now I always chop up the stem when I throw cilantro in my dishes. Time, I'm not even gonna take it off the stem. We just, you get a stick, just spit it out. Rosemary, we don't need much rosemary. Put some salt in, let's talk about salt right now. We don't need that much salt with this, because especially because we use that sasson, which has a very high sodium content. So, oh, throw in a little pinch. Put in a second pinch. Squeeze some fresh lemon. These hands were made to squeeze lemons. I use my hands. I don't need a juicing assistant. I got this. I'm gonna throw these habaneros in here. Sorry. We're gonna, we're gonna edit that, right? Jalapenos. Right now, I might throw a few onions in, just because. Vine ripe tomatoes, not from concentrate. Just crushed tomatoes, that's all you need. This is really the stock of the chili. I use like half as much water as I use tomato sauce. So like, let's say, one can, I'm gonna add like a half cup of water right now. These are beans out the can right now. There's times I have soaked beans overnight, but that's a headache, that's a hassle. Who wants to do that? These taste just as good. You can't tell me my chili's not amazing. Green peppers and red peppers. Right now, we're just gonna let it rock for a good, I don't know, 20 minutes, half hour. I'm about to turn the stove up. I go up high right now, we cook high, and I usually cover it. I'm about to cover it. Voila. Let that sit for a good 20. Oh yeah, surprise, I'm making peach cobbler too. Surprise, happy Thanksgiving, surprise. My 
mother showed me something when I was a kid and dropped some jewels on me and I added to it, you know? This isn't really a health conscious recipe right here. Your arteries may be horrified, but I think I'm gonna need more butter than this for this recipe. I'm just keeping it real. Couple chunks of butter on the bottom. It's all about taste with this one. This is store-bought pie crust. A machine made this in a factory somewhere and it's delicious. Chunks, flakes, missing patches. It doesn't matter, that actually adds to the beauty. It's art. This is the beauty of it. The imperfection is the beauty. Peaches, right out the can. This is not like the beans. We'll use this can fluid. The heavy syrup is good for this. Cinnamon, we don't want to go overboard, but you do want to taste it. A little maple. Let's just get stupid. Like I said, this is not really about health. And can we get some honey too? Oh, orange blossom is the best. Nutmeg. The most important ingredient, Grand's biscuits. I love the pop, I love the pop. You ready? Wait, wait. I didn't open it right. Damn, we all wanted the pop. Look at that, we anticipated it so much it didn't happen. Just to be broken and scattered throughout. Shout out to my mother, she's a beautiful woman. She showed me how to do this. And she also used to buy me husky pants when I was little after she made me this. Some of you don't know what the husky section is, but when you grow up a little bigger than you're supposed to, you know, you experience some things. A little sugar, or a lot. You know we need brown sugar, we gotta sprinkle equally over here. All right, I said we're ready now. I could just pop this in the oven, 375 for 45 minutes or so. We should be straight. So it's time for a taste test to assess the chili situation. Pretty good. I need a few things. I need a little more spice and I need a little more salt, perhaps another half lime. Let me further assess. Maybe we don't need a little more spice. The cobbler's cooking, it's going well, it's looking good. Chili's doing the same. I have it on a low simmer. We're down to eight right now. I forgot to add the oregano. I just keep tasting it, looking at it, smiling at my creations and We'll eat shortly. You see what's going on over here? Press it down a little, almost kind of baste it. All right, everybody, it's chili time. It's chili cook for about an hour. If you want to cook it longer, you can. If you want to cook it shorter, you shouldn't. So, uh, yeah, we're ready. I don't know, was that good? It was great. You sure? I'm positive. All right, keep that dialogue, too. Go heavy on the cheese. Onion. Cilantro, just for garnish purposes. This is Mayhem Lorenz Every Day is Thanksgiving Turkey Chili. Look at that mix of colors right there. You don't even have to eat this to know it's beautiful. Oh my. Cilantro floating around, making out with a little cumin, having sex with some ground turkey. It's stupid. One minute till cobbler time! Look at that. Tahitian vanilla. Nothing goes better with some peach cobbler than that good bainilla. You know why we're going with two scoops? Because nobody's punished here. I just hope everyone has a happy Thanksgiving. Stay safe, don't drink and drive. I'm eating this cobbler right now. Munchies, we out here. This is crazy. I made that.